Yo, what's up, Standall? Um, what's up, YouTube? I wanna um, you left me a question on my video response to Willie Pete on um, Tyler Perry give black men a movie, and your question was, do black men in real life really have an issue with sex and commitment? Um, obviously, some do. I mean, we can all see it. It's not a big secret. Um, but then there are men who don't have any sort of commitment issues. Um, and there are men who do have, I, I don't even want to say commitment issues, but there's a lot of false blaming on black men when it comes to commitment that I want to talk about. Um, now, we all can agree that we as black people have to work, you know, harder than other people to do well. So if this is true, that means black men have to even work that much harder than any, anybody else to get some sort of stability right to get some sort of reassurance that you know he will have a paycheck and you know he will hold on to whatever gainful employment he has um so first and foremost there, there's not a lot of time to be playing these commitment games i want to play this game or i have too many women on the side it takes a lot out of you you know my motto is if you have time to be playing around then you're not working hard enough maybe you should pick up a second job or maybe you should go back to school right so there isn't this much time period um, so certain men what they'll do okay um, is they will be clear and say hey I think you're a good person uh, when I have time and when you have time maybe we can hang out chill possibly even be romantic okay but that's if we have time I'm a busy person so I'm not looking for a committed relationship and they try to be as clear as possible so it's not about their inability to have a committed relationship. It's them saying that that's not what they want right now, right? And unfortunately, you have a lot of women who say, okay, I can handle that. So they buy into it, okay? But unfortunately, they can't. They're not built for it, right? They're not built for this pay-as-you-go type of relationship. So all of a sudden... Right, it turns into him having some sort of commitment issue, and this is where I think a lot of black men get a bad rap, because we're clear there's a difference between a man coming on and saying he wants some sort of committed relationship, but then he's not really working towards it. But if he's coming on and saying that this is how it's going to be, this is what I want, and you accept, you can't turn around and and say he has some sort of commitment issues because you can't hang anymore because you can't handle it and it's not a sign of weakness on women because even as a man I can't you know I would never accept any sort of relationship like that where it's this kind of pay-as-you-go relationship but so many women I don't know what blame it on the diva complex blame it on the black woman engine who really feel like they can be you know the, the stomp with the big dogs and be this person who was you know emotionally detached from their relationships with men um, and it really comes back to hurt them and instead of taking the L and saying, hey, I messed up, or maybe I can't really handle this, it turns into he has some sort of commitment issue. Instead of taking responsibility for the, for the, the incorrect choice they made, they don't. So then it turns into, oh, he can't commit, um, he's this, he's that, and it's unfair because he did everything in his power to be clear with you in terms of what he was looking for. He didn't mislead you, he didn't lie to you. At that point of time in his life, for whatever reason, he, that's not what he was looking for. Right? But unfortunately, like I said before, it, you know, no one ever really talks about this side. And, and it really gives a lot of black men a bad rap. I mean, there's a lot of issues with commitment. But to me, you have this one um, that is never talked about. And unfortunately, it does a lot of damage. Um that's why I'm not even into the women who act like they want to have this sort of casual relationship because like I said before this whole idea of casually dating is based off of uh, women dating subpar men okay um, if, if you're a progressive dude I said this before casual dating is very tough because most women are going to come off like they're doing their own thing but in reality they're not dating other progressive men who are family oriented or whatever so all of a sudden, this whole idea of, yeah, you know, let's have fun, let's play the field, you know, I'm young, hot, single, ready to mingle, all that shit goes away the second the dude has his shit together and he has a serious approach on life, right? 
um, that's why for me, I chose to, hey, man, let me fall back until, like, you know, I'm ready for something, you know, uh, more committed. Because anything less is going to turn into something ugly, and I'm not going to have any blame placed on me. You know, I'm not going to add to this whole idea of black men having problems with commitment just because certain women couldn't handle what they thought they could handle. So hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. Um, I'm not trying to say black men don't have commitment issues for whatever reason, but what I'm trying to say, it seems like it's such a big deal in the black community because a lot of women aren't being accept or not taking responsibility or being true to themselves that they cannot handle a certain type of relationship where it was based off of him having time and um, her having time and you know they just hook up for that moment in time and then whenever they meet again is whenever they meet again nothing guaranteed so you take it easy tell me how you feel of course everybody else you guys know the drill god bless